What's up guys? This is Nick again. Uh, I just want to update you guys on my weight loss. Um, the other day I weighed in. I think it was probably it would have been Monday. Monday I weighed in at like 206.4. Today I weighed in at 204.4. From yesterday to today, I lost two pounds with a grain of salt because the day before the 206, I had like a big cheat day. I don't know how much of that was my actual weight, how much of it was just actual food that I ate the day before. Yesterday, I kind of ate a full day of like eating healthy or eating on a diet, quote unquote. All I did was I had like a thousand grams of rice. That comes out to about 1,300 calories. By eating that all day, I woke up today and weighed 204 pounds. I'm not sure how much of it is from me eating healthy and how much of it is from not eating like a cheat day the whole day. I'm not sure like what, how much of that is kind of, you know, eating healthier is just because I had the cheat day before. On that note, I kind of wanted to mention what I'm doing as far as my diet. I kind of already explained it. It's just like, I'm using a food scale, which show you. Basically what a food scale is, you put a container on it, it weighs how much the container weighs, and then you hit like this zero button right here. It zeroes it out so it doesn't weigh anything, and then you add your food. So then it tells you like exactly like how much food you're putting in that bowl. If you have like a really good idea of how much food you're actually eating, it's just kind of like guessing it by eye. So like just a way to like a lot, you know, about what you're eating. I put this here just to kind of show you like what, what I'm eating. I know, I said rice before, but I just wanted to show you, like, you can see, like, it's a 20 pound bag of rice, and it's like $8 at Walmart. So, for $8, you can get 20 pounds of food. And it's not even really 20 pounds because if you think it's dry, and, like, the weight of it, you know, cooked with water is like four times the dried weight. So that's, like, 80 pounds of food for $8. So, if you're ever, like, hurting on, like, a budget, like, a food budget, and you, like, need some cheap food, just buy, like, a 20 pound bag of rice for $8, and you'll, you'll be pretty set. <laughs> I also wanted to mention, like, I almost didn't want to make this video. I hadn't had like a full week to like prove my point that like you should like weigh your weigh your food like that and you should you know, like know how many calories you're get, like putting in body because my theory is like you hear people all the time like I'm eating healthy I've eat, I've eaten healthy like for so long but I'm like this week I, I gained weight and what I notice is like for sure they're like <laughs> they, they probably spent like 10 times as much money on me buying like food. And it's probably really all healthy. Like it's all organic, it's all vegetables, it's all fruit. Like it's all like really good stuff. The problem is like when they're not tracking like how much you're eating, it's kind of hard, you know, to, to exactly know like how, how much you're gonna lose because if, if you're just like, let's say you eat an apple, like for sure an apple's pretty healthy, but if you eat 10 to 20 apples, or 10 to 20 healthy things, or like 30 healthy things, or 40 healthy things, like eventually because you're eating so much, it becomes unhealthy. Like it gets to the point where you're eating so much, it's unhealthy. Like by not knowing what you're eating, like it makes it difficult to know how much can, you can really predict to lose weight. When, when I hear people say that, like, oh my gosh, like I'm not losing any weight, I'm eating so healthy, I don't know what, what to do. Like track how many calories you're eating. That's what I'd say, like track how many calories you're putting in your body. Know exactly what you're putting in your body. So that way, like, if you gain weight the next day, you're like, okay, all right, that, that was too much food. Let me, like, eat, like, 100 grams less of that food and maybe, maybe the next day I'll lose weight. Like, for me, I told you, like, I started with 1,000 grams of rice, and that's, like, 1,300 calories. But last night, when I was preparing food for today, I didn't know how much I would lose today. So I thought, let me, like, lower it 100 grams just to test, like, to see if that'll affect my weight at all. Like, I don't think it go down at all. Um, so then, you know, tomorrow I can tell you better that, you know, it worked or it didn't. Um, like for me, like I'm not trying to lose like a pound or two every day, like I did this morning. But I just want to like lose something, even if it's like an ounce. Like I just want to lose something every every day, you know. So like I said, like I lowered it 100 grams last night. You now tonight I might lower it 50 grams just to see what happens, you know, for, for tomorrow, you know. I think you should just kind of have that mindset. Like oh, today I didn't lose weight. Oh, cool. like what what can I lower? Like I know exactly how much food I'm putting in my body. I didn't gain or I didn't lose anything. I'm probably eating too much. Let me lower it a bit. Just like see, see what that is. Like it's just like a it's like a science experiment like with your body. You just gotta like figure out how much you know you really need and how much you know it's just excess food. Um so with the scale like, I guess just think it makes it way easier, you know, to really like tell exactly what's going on with your body and not just kind of guessing like yeah I'm eating like healthy 
same food, but if you don't have a lot of calories, how many calories put in your body, like you might as well just be eating Big Mac and McDonald's all day long. Because like that's basically what you're doing. Like you're just kinda like guessing, like maybe I'm eating enough calories, maybe I'm eating healthy enough you know, amount of calories. Like you're just you're just guessing. I would just say like get a scale, weigh out your food, and know like exactly how many calories you're getting in a day. Without that, if you don't lose any weight the next day or you gain weight the next day, hey, you know, you're probably eating too much food. And maybe lower it. Just a, just a tad, just a small amount. Test it the next day, like, oh I lowered it this amount and I lost weight or you know, I didn't lose any weight but I didn't gain any weight either so I'm going in the right direction, you know. I just say like play with it, you know. M measure your food and just play with it and see see what and also I was gonna say, you know, like thinking about doing daily vlogs, I think that like losing weight is like is a daily thing, it's not once a week like a once a week thing like I planned on doing. It's, it's starting today, I wanna commit myself to making a daily video every day for a week. I'm not saying I'm gonna do one every day for the rest of my life. I'm just saying one week I'd like to try it out and see what it feel like to make a video every day. Um, and at the end of the week, I'll see if I'm uh, if it's good and if I'd like to continue and do another another seven days of doing a video every day. Um, so so we'll look forward to. Um, also, if you're losing weight and you have a channel or you know of a good weight loss channel, uh, comment that down below. I'm really interested in getting involved in the YouTube weight loss community and I'm just curious to see what everyone's doing and how their weight loss journey is going. Anyways, thanks for watching and hope you have an awesome day.